What's going on, everyone? Welcome to a brand new spoiler discussion for Venom. I got a great guest with me today. We are discussing this together because we both really like this. We don't get why people are really shitting on this film. But before we get more into this, uh, Griffin, how about you introduce yourself, man? Hey, how's it going? It's Griffin here from Men vs. Movies. You all probably know me by now. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking Venom. And you know what? Call me crazy, but I really enjoyed this film. I, I dug it quite a bit. Um, I understand the gripes with it, which I'm sure we'll get in, but I, it's, I, I think people are being a little too harsh on it, but I, I just, I'm excited to actually talk about it. That's the thing. Like I, I want to talk about this movie with someone. <laughs> That's how I was like, I, right after it ended, I was like, I cannot wait to discuss this film in full Seriously. spoiler detail. Yeah. And yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Like, I, I mean, that's how it is. Like, of course this is spoilers. So like, if you haven't seen the film or you just don't give a crap about what's going to, what we're yeah. going to talk about, because we're really going to go into everything. Like, mm -hmm most of this everything that's big on it and so you haven't seen the film back out now or you don't care just yeah watching. You're fucked, but, you know, because yeah but, I, but i'll say i think if you're on the fence of seeing this film I, it's harder for me to recommend i think if you're on the fence but if you're interested to go see it go form your own opinion D don't listen to the like rotten tomatoes or anything because i think this is the one case where they're really wrong to be yeah. honest like yeah I, I mean i would agree it's definitely i yeah, I I do. I, I it, it doesn't it's, deserve a twenty. It deserves like more in the forties, fifties, even yeah. sixty. To be I, honest. So last time I checked was right after I got out of the theater. It was at a twenty nine, which yep. is actually a lot better than what I thought it was at. Um, well, it was lower. Right, it was low. I remember. Yeah, I remember when it was at nineteen percent. I was just like, "What the fuck is this? The worst movie ever?" No, not really. No, um, there's definitely worse. It's an interesting thing because I think the intent of the film didn't necessarily translate to most people who watched it or, or I'm sorry, I should say most critics who watched it um, or maybe they got it and they were just like, or got it. I, I don't think there's like not much. There's, there's not much to not get, but it's, it's, or I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm tripping over my words. It's like fucking 11 at night. Anyways, uh, it's just whether or not it worked for them. And f like, for me, I got what they were going for with the film and it was totally different than what, any of us like could have anticipated well, i mean when they announced like, this film did we think it was going to be this no because you no. you describe it in a very good way and i i want you to describe it in the way that you described it when we were talking before we got on but yeah, i mean when they announced i, this, I mean it's everyone it's, thought it's gonna be r-rated and right. everyone thought it was gonna be super serious and it's not yeah. it's not and i feel like would i have liked that yeah but what i got was kind of the nice too no yeah but you want to know the crazy thing i i don't need an r-rated version of this no, the only same. reason to make this film R would be for blood and gore, and you got the effect of it without seeing. Yeah, it didn't every need to be gory. someone's head being bit off or so. Yeah, no, it didn't need to be gory at all. It was perfectly violent and and it worked. Um, I describe this film as a, a self aware, dark romantic comedy, which is such a weird, you know, maglamation of just terms. But when you watch the film, it makes sense. Because, yeah, I, mean, I agree with you. The, the romantic comedy part of it is is the relationship between Eddie and Venom, which I think unanimously people will say is the best part of the film. Tom Hardy is the best part of the film. Absolutely. Um, but like, it's also it's got like a dark, twisted sense of humor, and the film knows it's being ridiculous. Not not once was it when I was watching this was was I like, oh, that was was that supposed to be funny? Like for for me at least, I you know all of the stuff that was like questionably funny, I thought was intentionally funny. Like they were, they wanted us to laugh at it in a way, um, which is interesting because I don't think that's the case with some people. Um, but yeah, I know I I just I thought it was a pretty clever um, you know reimagining of the character in that regard, while still staying true to the the characterization of Eddie Brock and Venom. Yeah, no, and uh, it, the thing that we mentioned is uh, Ruben Fletcher directs this. He did Zombieland. Now, he did yeah. Gangster Scar, and we're not going to talk about Gangster Scar, but yeah. Zombieland is a dark comedy, in a mm -hmm. sense. It is a very dark comedy. And yeah. when we saw the trailers for Zombieland, it was more funny than it was, like, it was that dark sense of horror comedy to it. Mm -hmm. And Venom, the first trailer, was very dark. It was very serious. Then coming out further down the trailers. road I, it, both trailers even like the second trailer was the second dark, trailer had and then it, yeah and then it had like weird instances of humor 
but it, it mm -hmm. and, and so we were like, what the fuck is this humor? Are they trying to be funny, but it just, it so happens that that those moments of humor, that's actually the tone of the film. And I feel like the yeah. problem with this movie is the marketing. The marketing <laughs> was the problem. Is, it, is the marketing the problem, I or are they are they being subtle geniuses and marketing it as something, hmm. and then slowly, you know, coming to hey. terms with like the memeiness of the film? I I have no idea. I, I feel just, like Sony saw this movie and they're like, we didn't want that but i guess it works <laughs> it's it's weird man it works. I mean, it works. you go look at a you look at one of their twitter accounts the the eddie's clubhouse oh, yeah. account which is just a complete meme page and i'm like that's kind of what the movie is so maybe it they are so, doing this and, right <laughs> and i it, that's where i kind of wish they would have marketed it to that again that's i i tweeted that venom is the venom film that i never knew i wanted and needed and yeah. that is perfectly what i because i didn't know i wanted this kind of version of venom but i mm -hmm. got with this version and i really appreciated it I, I i there's moments to it that are bad but i i mean before we get into our big moments that kind of like annoyed us let's mm -hmm. just discuss our favorite moments like what are some of your favorite moments in here man that yeah. spoilers, just full on say it oh yeah for sure i mean i think the 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 time the moment that we've seen in the trailer is a bunch of time where he first turns into venom and he's like oh eyes lungs pancreas that was great yeah i mean I, that whole sequence the the motorcycle you know i will say the uh, i think the action sequences in the film are, are actually really good they're they're done well they're they're fun especially the motorcycle chase um yeah that was actually really done like i was on the edge of my seat like i felt like it was cool yeah, seeing it was a nice was adrenaline doing. Yeah, no, for sure. It was it was a nice, um, you know, it was a well done action sequence capped off by, you know, Venom's final introduction um, when he's in full form, and then he obviously bites the guy's head off, which is funny. But um, and, and I'm surprised how much they actually showed. Like, obviously, there's yeah, no I mean, they, blood. They literally, show his head. Like, off yeah, you see without blood going through. Like when yeah. the arms get changed. Like <laughs> it was cool seeing like all these different things. And yeah. no, that's that is one of my favorite moments when he finally goes full venom. Yeah, and I, I, I'll I say loved it. before that though, when he first speaks to Eddie, oh, in the bathroom, Marty screams. <laughs> that was hysterical. Dude. I, my, my theater died. Erupted. Same. They erupted. I was like, "This is fucking phenomenal." The ones that happened, me, my friend turned to my turned to each other, and we're like, "We know what we're in for." Like yeah, the second he just gets knocked out. Oh my god! I know. Well, it's it's like the movie has this. Like the beginning of the movie is is very like uh, what you think it's going to be, and then once he gets the symbiote, and especially, I mean, everyone's been saying this, but especially the uh, the restaurant scene with the lobsters, which is is just. <laughs> Insanity. It's bonkers, that, that, that but it's great. Mind blowing insanity. Um, <laughs> like that's when the movie switches in the gear, and it's like, holy fuck, this is Dude, incredible. I, you know, it's weird that my audience was not laughing at that scene. Me, at the I was, the, yeah, I was the only I one laughing. Dying. Dude, I, like I just love how he starts grabbing all the food. Just, he starts like, eating just them. Throwing. He's like, he's got the inner monologue going. He's all sweaty. He, like, <laughs> he lays he, down. In the water. Uh, he, he gets he like climbs into the lobster like tank like what the fuck a lot of this movie i mean you see from um interviews is is tom hardy being given so much freedom to do whatever he wants as an actor and um you know improvise a lot which i, and I, I think it worked in the movie's favor i would say and to be honest i i think like when i saw him on the red carpet he seemed a little annoyed but i i think he's annoyed of how people are taking the film like i think he is he's probably honestly happy with the film i'm gonna be fine i think he is i think well because i saw in like several you know press junk and interviews he was actually having fun with the interviews which is odd which for is him, different for him because yeah he's, he's serious. very serious and mellow and in these he was like having fun i guess because he had fun with the film or whatnot and, well and he also and, did the film for his son yeah which i get and and we'll probably talk about talk about this later but i think the target audience for this film is, is that. that like middle school to high school range and so with everything going on in this movie i, I actually think they succeed in doing that mm -hmm. um no i'm with you on that but yeah, I, I'm trying to think of other favorite. Mo I mean, the, the, really, any time it was just yeah. like Eddie and Venom interacting, it's just one of my favorites was a running gag earlier in the film where he comes home with his apartment, and uh, you hear the guitar going, and he just goes oh, like it's oh, all yeah. mad, and <laughs> then it goes back to when he has Venom, and he just bangs on the door, yeah. and his face just changes, and the guy's like, "Yep, fuck it, bye, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> No, that was great. The other I running that gag scene. that I like, um, or I, maybe it's not a running gag, but it was something that was brought up a few times, was when he 
he basically he called um eddie a pathetic loser and then later on when they're in the woods he's like yeah on my planet I'm a loser. A, I'm, I'm a loser too. And I was like, it, it's it's delivered much it, better than the way we their just relationship said it, really worked. But like you yeah. said, like there, it's a romance in a yeah. sense. Like, it's a <laughs> weird romance. It's weird. But I, I said in my initial review that their character arc, their character, uh, were like their 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 character arc, both of them works so well, and mm -hmm. you believe where it goes. That by the end of the film, you're like, these two are best friends now. Yeah, it's we my I. And I agree with everything everything you said. My only slight gripe with that is that I think they needed a little bit more time together. And this actually is a is um probably my biggest negative of the film is I I think it is a little too rushed. Like this, like everything feels like it's going really really fast and in a mm -hmm. good way. But also, um, the side effects that come with that is that we don't necessarily get some more intimate it's a short you, movie you know it's emotional really yeah it really movie. is and, it, and the time flies by i will say i i did not think i was in the theater for uh, slightly under two hours but well I, and i looked I, on I, imdb and it says it's an hour 56 it easily feels like an hour and a half i i could it, have it honestly does. gone for another 20 minutes with them yeah every everything feels like it just kind of like happens fast and so I, I don't think the pacing was necessarily the best, but I also appreciated the brisk nature of it because I think that makes it more palatable for wider audiences. They don't have to, you know, sit through two hours and 20 minutes of a Venom movie. I think maybe if this film had been in like the 210, 215 range with a little bit more, um, like like a, sprinkling in some more scenes between Venom and Eddie. So and adding more to their dynamic because yeah. I, I think this film... Oh, go I, ahead. I, well, I think this film falls on a lot of the character development not for yeah. eddie particularly but a lot of the other characters where i could give two crap i did michelle williams I and riz on are fantastic but i didn't care about them at all i would say even um venom suffers from it a little mm -hmm. bit because when he when he makes the decision to actually stay on earth and i didn't it was very abrupt people, it was very abrupt it, like i got it because of the time he spent with eddie but i feel like they didn't hammer that home enough um, I could have used maybe another 10 minutes with them. Maybe like exactly. maybe just a scene of them sitting around where um, this is kind of weird to throw this into it, but it kind of reminded me of like um, the Power Rangers movie that came out last year. One of the best moments about that film was when they're sitting around the campfire talking. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those campfire scenes that they have in movies don't work the best. But mm -hmm. I think Venom needed a campfire scene where they're just talking. Yeah, so not I mean, just yeah, some interaction that, yeah. between them, but a legit discussing with each other because we get yeah. a couple moments but we never got that one moment where like like i mean venom knows a lot about eddie brock because he's, he's in his head so you could like infer like yeah. oh okay so he's because he knows eddie and and whatnot but i'm like well we didn't see it so it's it's harder for to to buy into it but yeah i mean like you said riz ahmed and michelle williams are not they're they're kind of just there in and i they're, they're definitely phoning in it especially michelle williams yeah um, she didn't care. She's, let's talk about not, riot though let's talk about riot i yeah, thought he looked off riot was cool um i wasn't a huge like it was interesting because i th i feel like riz ahmed would i mean he's very much the mustache twirling stereotypical yes absolutely. scientist corporate villain um and i think we all knew that going in that he was going to be like that but where he could have set the character apart is in his performance and for a guy who usually plays pretty charismatic characters i think he didn't he didn't um you know he wasn't as charismatic as he probably should have been like he he should have been more of like a colorful maglomaniac um to kind of combat like tom hardy's enthusiasm and charisma and it would have been a really interesting dynamic between the two of them and and they have great scenes together but i don't think that Riz Ahmed ultimately lands and then a lot of his motivations kind of get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I think to be honest, I think you could have easily written out Michelle Williams character too. Um, Definitely. I you know, I, it. Yeah. I mean, literally her only purpose was the press buttons. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> every time the, the sounds every time. Yeah. I would say the biggest reason she was there was to make eddie be in san francisco you know yeah like, instead of new york because i know there's a comic run where eddie goes to san francisco but he already has the venom with him when he goes yeah, so yeah, it's exactly. completely different but and um obviously I, i'm sure sony was like we can't have this in new york because everyone's gonna be like we're spider-man so mm -hmm. so but i i love those little things there's a lot of nuanced things in there 
Um, one of the best scenes in the film, though, and I know I, we could probably talk about it later, but I want to bring it up now is the end credit scene. I absolutely sure. think that was one of the best scenes in the whole film. The way it yeah. was filmed, the way it was brought about, and of course, it's Woody Harrelson's carnage or Cletus yeah. Cassidy, which Cle Cletus Cassidy. Yeah. I want to ask you: Do you think he has carnage within him already? I'm saying yes. Oh, you think you think he's already carnage? I think he already has carnage. I don't think he is. I think it's just Cletus really? Cassidy. It's just introducing us to. Yeah, it'd be a little too. I, I I mean, he's he's a serial killer in maximum security prison, and he just randomly gets the symbiote. Like, well. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, it is weird, but it felt weird to me. Why would he ask for only Eddie Brock? That That's because like where I kind of was. I think because of just his fame mm, level. Maybe. Like the fact that he's like a notable investigative reporter, which I love that he had his own TV segment. That I like that too. Awesome. I like that, that he so didn't cool. just work for a newspaper stand. Like he was legit like on TV and... I, I really like Tom Hardy is seriously one of the best actors in Hollywood. Like he is, yeah. he did so well with the material where I think if any <laughs> other actor did the material, <laughs> no, he did. And like, I mean, that's one of my issues. The script is not the best and no, it, no, yeah. it's just, but he made a lot of those developments and interactions with everyone work well, like with the, the doctor boyfriend, like <laughs> every mm -hmm. scene he had with him was just funny. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, no, I, I, I dug that a lot. Um, but going, I mean, you want to talk about great casting choices, going back to Cletus Cassidy. I, first of all, we all knew it was coming, but I think it was inspired casting Two, um, in the few brief moments we get with him. I like, I was creeped out. Like this dude was a fucking sadistic psychopath. And, and I, looked, to see I was surprised to see the curly hair. I didn't the think they were going to go the red curly hair. I uh, was brilliant. Yeah. And it worked like just. I mean, Woody Harrelson's again one of the best actors in Hollywood. So mm -hmm. when you get him, like, I remember when he got casted, and everyone's like, "Oh, who's he playing?" I'm like, "Are you stupid? He's playing Cletus. Like, if he doesn't play Cletus Cassidy, like that, it's it's a yeah. waste." I do think there would have been an easier way to. I mean, if he, I think it would have been easier to just say he was one of the people there. That's how I actually thought they were going to intertwine him. Is oh, like he was one of the people uh, that patience. Yeah, yeah I that thought that would have been, been easy, and I was surprised yeah. not to see other versions of the symbiote obviously we saw two other ones but i was surprised we didn't see um i was i was theorizing that we we're gonna see toxin and scream for ever yeah, since the trailers I thought, I thought scream we would see um we didn't though so i i, I don't know maybe, maybe they kind of like alluded to them mm -hmm. a little bit just with the different color symbiotes but yeah i mean we didn't see them i i don't i don't think they were necessary i didn't want like too many weird yeah and i didn't want there. either I, I think one more would have worked for me like just something in there else because but honestly i i think the best action sequence for me is when he comes outside and he has his hands up and the swats are just oh about to the go one that and, yeah the clip and, that and I, dropped, that's, the, well, yeah. yeah i wish i didn't see the clip i wish i didn't see the clip really yeah i i, I wish i would have been surprised by it i don't think it affected me too much but i i do agree that 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 sequence was was awesome. I mean, or, uh, Venom you know, one of the other funny moments was um when he's in the apartment, and Tom Hardy just throws his arms up, and yeah. then everyone's pointing guns. Venom's like, "What are you doing? Wh what, yeah, what are you doing? Put your hands down." Well, that's the thing. It's it's kind of insane because Tom Hardy has excellent chemistry with Tom Hardy. Like, yes, it's, it's just like the, the, in, well, we get that from Legend. We got that from Legend, right? Which I think he kind of expanded upon a little bit in here because they're too incredibly different personalities yet yes they like they feel like they're being played by different people like everyone was like oh it's the guy who voiced uh kratos in god of war who's doing the voice no it's tom hardy playing off of himself and doing a damn good job i mean he feels like his he's whole persona excellent. like it's he's like a schizophrenic person but he's actually not schizophrenic and he plays into that uh split personality thing beautifully like I, absolutely like, so good and that was one of the things i was really happy to see in the trailers earlier on where it saw them talking because that's one of my favorite interactions with them in the comics mm -hmm. where i just love that they have this connection and that i'm glad they elevated that i again that's the best part of this film and mm -hmm. i think that's where I, we can kind of start tying this up is i want another venom film i, yeah, I want yeah. another one i want I them to expand the sony universe yeah i I was left with an appetite for more, weirdly enough. And I was someone who was like, okay, well, which I'm sure Venom it. wants more too. He fucking eats everyone. Yeah, he wants he wants your heads, which I was worried that that was going to be an annoying gag. But <laughs> Another actually, a gag in there, one fast, was, is when he tells him, well, let me eat all their heads and just push them in the corner. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> like this movie, like, come on, it's guys. Like, seriously, if you don't watch this movie and you're like, that movie totally knew what it was doing. 
Yeah, I mean, dude, I, I have my review up, and I already have 10 dislikes on it, so thanks, guys. How many likes? Uh, 23. Damn. And 10 dislikes. All those, it's all those Lady Gaga fans. I know, dude. which I gave Lady... I Which I gave that fucking movie, uh, Star is Born, an A+, so... You want to know something crazy? I would... I think A Star is Born is a better film, and it's yeah, yeah, it going to be beloved. It's a masterpiece, but I almost want people to just go see Venom because I want to like just people to talk about it because it's so weird. Well, yeah, and I, I hope people it's support be vastly it. different. Yeah, and again, I I think this is a film. Do not let the critics stir you. Like no, if you're watching this, go make, see your the own, film, yeah. go make your own opinion because as bonkers and crazy as we're making it sound, it does work in the movie. Mm-hmm. It really does. Like, <laughs> yeah, and it's, it shouldn't. How but much? I I saw one of the new. Uh, advertisements for it and it says two tongues up i give it two tongues up too I give it two fucking tum- tongues up tums yes we're giving it dogs. no um but going back to your point on the the sequel yeah i i i hope we do get a sequel and i hope eventually he can come into a spider-man film i don't want him in the mcu per se but i want him to interact with spider-man and so I do you want to interact with tom holland or a different type of spider-man no 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 like like tom holland spider-man like i would love it if in the third you know homecoming film he was introduced in in there but i like I, and, cool. and that's it and that's the extent of his involvement in the mcu just in a spider-man film because i don't he doesn't I, need to be in he guardians doesn't he doesn't need to be in the rest it. of it like i don't i don't want to see him interacting with like, which Captain that's America one of or, my complaints with the spider-man film so far is that they're so intertwined into the mcu you have all these yeah. different people like far from home looks great i mean you're getting jake gyllenhaal's mysterio awesome yeah. But Nick Fury, Maria Hill, Gwyneth Petro is supposed to be in it. Like, I, I yeah. don't need them. I don't want them. I, I just want Spider-Man. Like, that's... Yeah. I want a Spider-Man film. I don't want an MCU film. You know what I'm saying? Which is one of the biggest things that... One of the biggest refreshers of Venom is... It's so self I Yes, and I miss those type of films. I miss mm-hmm. when we get a superhero film that doesn't have to tie into a whole world. Every little bit. And I don't... Yeah. I, I love Cinematic Universe. I think it's a cool concept. But it's nice. It's a nice refresher. And... It's kind of. I know they're making this Morbius film. I don't want Morbius to tie in. Make it a self-contained, please, yeah, and, and then tie it in later if you want to. But just make it self-contained now. I don't care. But I would rather have another Venom film. That, that's, yeah, I would. I, 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 feel, I feel like, honest to God, Sony could just just go making Venom films and maybe have him run in with some Spider-Man shit. films or something. Let me, like, let me I, say I, this, please, please. I I think Sam Raimi do Venom too. He, he, yeah, I mean, I'm. It could work. He does that horror comedy aspect, and really that's well. where uh, Venom also had those horror vibes to it, and they worked. Mm-hmm. They worked. Mm-hmm. It really felt like this film is the perfect mesh of a Spider-Man film, but mixing in like Army of Darkness, <laughs> yeah. and then just the absurdity maybe, of it. Yeah. Maybe Crazy Stupid Love and a little bit of Blue Valentine. <laughs> 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 Sure. All right. Go, just just pull random right as well. obscure films and mesh them in there. Uh, I'm just going to say that it's a dark comedy that's self-aware. And if you go in expecting that, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, it, Tom Hardy is incredible. As always, he proves himself to be one of the best actors in the game because he elevates very subpar material. Um, always. This yeah. means war. One of the... <laughs> no, I'm, I like the film just because it's of fine. him. It's fine. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I like Venom more, weirdly yeah, enough. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I will say this. This movie is very much a pre-MCU Marvel yeah. film. And going back to what we were talking about, it, how it was so refreshing to get that, I, I think Sony has kind of nailed their target demographic and like the vibe for what they're going for very much like young adult, um, you know, uh, teenagers who want to watch like, I don't know, just like fun something hardcore, stuff. but it's not hardcore. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah, and it, it's that perfect match. So and there's definitely I mean, you and me, the market for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you and me are pretty much in the same category on this. Um, sure. after this discussion, I would bump my rating up a little bit. Um, oh, cause I gave it a C and uh-huh. I think I put it at a C plus, uh, C plus B minus um, might change when I see it again. I might get it up. Uh, but what would you give the film overall? Uh, on your, you do a through F, right? Yeah. Yeah. I give it a B. I honestly got to give it a B it's purely on entertainment. Um, yeah. And I mean, like, I yeah. think it's more of a guilty pleasure, but at the same sense, as we're talking about, it, I'm like, you are right. Like, this is not like people aren't just getting it. And I get that. And I think there is, for me, it is a guilty pleasure, 
but yes, i get it, what it you're saying completely i mean it, i i'm probably insane and it probably should be considered <laughs> a guilty guilty pleasure for me but i genuinely walked out of it and i was like because you and me were memeing good. the fuck out of this movie like you and me were talking oh, about was, like was it's gonna be a masterpiece yeah. i was wholeheartedly like ready to accept this film for being so bad that it's good but i walked out of it and i was like it's good because it knows what it wants to yeah be. so i i i liked it for that and i loved mm. a lot of aspects about it i hope we get a venom too please guys go check out venom I'm with you yeah please, please go, see, go it. see it give it give it your money i i think it's worth formulating your opinion even if you end up coming out and don't liking it i think a lot of us will agree tom hardy was perfect as venom as perfect yeah. as eddie brock i it's don't see any answer. other actor. would you have wanted any other actor to play eddie brock I, I i i can't picture any other actor after seeing this film no. i don't know the only other person who i could who could come to mind is jake gyllenhaal and he's playing that's what series. i was thinking yeah, yeah i was like jake gyllenhaal i think could have pulled off that weird wacky tone too yeah but i think tom hardy did excellent job mm -hmm. as tom hardy or as eddie brock but he was great and this is one of the first films with him where his accent didn't like when he does his American voice, it didn't mm -hmm. feel weird. He wasn't grunting. He wasn't, it's one of the first roles where he was like, ur, ur, ur. Yeah. like he wasn't, he wasn't just making weird noises and he didn't have his face covered the entire film. No, In fact, I would say we see more of Tom Hardy's face than we do of Venom's face. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Which I like, I, I think one other thing I would have liked for Venom, I would have liked to see, the cinematography a little bit more brightened up. I, I would have liked to see a little bit more. Some of the things were a little bit dark, but absolutely Venom was a surprise to both of us. You and me were about mm -hmm. to meme the hell out of this movie and it turned out to be better than we thought. So yeah, guys, tell us what your guys' thoughts were on Venom. Comment down below and tell us what your favorite moment was. That That's what we're going to go about. Favorite Let's talk about the favorite moment. Venom. Yeah, there's there's a lot. I think that, that, that dinner scene with the lobster was like probably my favorite or the one with knocking on the door and, and that rock guy. But yeah. uh, Griffin, where can they find you at, man? Yeah, so you can uh, go follow me on Twitter where I'm bashing the live action Disney remakes uh, <laughs> at Griff Schiller or at Men vs. Movies. You can also subscribe to the Men vs. Movies YouTube channel. Uh, just search it up. It should be the first one that comes up. We're doing you know a bunch of podcasts, award season shows, uh, movie reviews. I'll probably have a review for this up by the time you're watching this, so you can go check that out or you could just listen to this because I've already conveyed my thoughts. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, uh, go go check it out if you're interested. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining me, Griffin. This was a nice discussion. Um, but guys, seriously, make sure to hit him up, hit his subscribe. Go check out his video review because it's going to be a little bit more entertaining there because we're going to have to not spoil that type of thing. So, uh, but <laughs> Can we get around it? <laughs> Can we? That's the choice. Yeah, but guys, yeah. thank you so much. Also, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below if you guys are wanting to check out some movies early or check out some other movie news and movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, you guys all stay classy and have a great rest of your day. And of course, remember, we are Venom. We'll <laughs>